Thank you very much, Annalee. And I think you've raised one or two important um, questions there. I mean, you said who decides whether or not something is, you know, is a European value. And uh, I think uh, we'll certainly be asking those questions for a while. Also, I think you made the, the point at the end that it is important that this is a success because we all talk about the democratic deficit and this, the distance between Europe and the citizens. And this is certainly an effort to try and bridge that gap. So uh, it's very important that the Parliament and the Commission and the Council work together to eliminate the obstacles so that whatever legal framework we have in place has um, you know, a reasonable opportunity that it will be successful and that it will work. So thank you once again for your, your input this morning. We now go to the first round table of NGOs. We have four speakers. Each is designated approximately five minutes. And then we have a short debate between uh, all four. And if perhaps one or two members of the audience want to contribute, it will depend on time, because I'll try and keep very tight to time this morning. We'll have an opportunity, but then later on there will be an opportunity for members of the audience to contribute and to ask questions. So the first uh, speaker on the round table this morning is Karsten Berg, who is a speaker for the ECI. And for those of you who don't know Eurospeak, that's the European Citizens Initiative campaign. Karsten. 